link down below so that you can see this picture of everything that's coming and as well as to the regular patch notes. Here we go. At a glance, here's what's going on with Season 1 for Vanguard and Warzone. It includes five new free weapons, new maps including Modern Warfare 3 Dome Remake Radar, Popular Mode Control Returns, two new perks and incendiary lethal grenade for loadouts, which there'll be one under your pillow if you give this video a thumbs down, fresh objectives, new weapons and challenges for Vanguard Zombies, festive fervor celebrations later this month, and much more. The Season 1 Battle Pass for Vanguard and Warzone Pacific includes three free functional weapons, two new perks, new equipment, all free, period. I like that. Over 30 free items, including some for clans, 300 COD points, weapon blueprints, and more. Earn even more items by joining a clan with friends, then party up to get that 10% global XP boost. Triton's first operator, Francis Kai Lanakila. Here for a good time, not a long time, especially if you've got that incendiary grenade under the pillow. Uh, purchase the battle pass to unlock him immediately at tier 0. A battle prepped legendary skin, free with battle pass bundle. Pick up the Battle Pass bundle to get an access to all 100 tiers, skip ahead to tier 20, and grab a menacing new skin for Polina. Two new perks and incendiary lethal grenade for the loadouts, like I said. Serpentine, perk 1. Tier 21 of Season 1 Battle Pass, sprinting reduces incoming damage. Breaking out into regular sprint slightly reduces all damage from ballistics and explosives, while tactical sprinting can cut damage by more than a quarter of its normal value. That's quite interesting. Intuition, perk 1, tier 44, a season 1 battle pass. Your vision pulses when enemies are nearby, even through walls. Similar to high alert in previous games, but with shorter range, intuition allows you to perceive threats before they round corners or burst through doors. This is done without the need to suppress them like piercing range, making it a more passive option for those looking for more close range engagement, engagements and, you know, for more realistic warfare. Special Incendiary Grenade Lethal Equipment Tier 39 of Season 1 Battle Pass obscures an area in a white fog and burns those that come close. A handheld and extremely limited version of the firebombing run kill streak, the Incendiary Grenade deals a small burst of damage within a large radius at the detonation point, then deals burn damage every second to those who stay within its range. This damage scales the longer someone is within the area, it lasts for a longer time than its rivals, the Thermite and Molotov Cocktail. Vanguard Zombies Overview. Prepare for the Purge and New Covenants. A fresh objective to conquer at Season Launch, as well as 14 new ways to use those sacrificial hearts. New weapons and challenges. Bolster your loadout with 5 new weapons. Bring launchers into the fight. And complete new career challenges and season challenges for unique rewards. Tomb of Rituals, support killstreaks, new area, holiday updates, and more in season. Upgrade those artifacts for more powerful Dark Aether abilities. Discover new secrets in Von List's office, and craft powerful support tools to use against the undead threat later in the season. Treyarch is preparing new zombies updates for after the new year, which will include more content and features. And there you have it here. The Tomb of Rituals, your artifacts will be able to grow in power through the Tomb Rituals, offering greater Dark Aether abilities to aid in your survival. Von List's office, if you know what Von List is hiding in his personal quarters, but it may offer clues as to Court Effects plans. Dark Secrets may also be waiting beyond the mysterious new portal. Support Killstreaks, the devastating War Machine and Death Machine, will be ready to help you fight the rotting masses so long as you have the Salvage to spare and the crafting table or get lucky at the mystery box. Additional features, new weapon unlock challenges, mystery box weapon updates, server pause functionality, and more are planned for later in Season 1, including festive new holiday theming in Stalingrad. And for more information on Season 1, you can clicky-click on the link there, and it'll explode your computer. I'm just kidding. So there you have it. If you liked the video, thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. You didn't like the video, thumbs down. We already know what's going to happen. I'll also put you as in the usual wrist lock and snap off that thumb in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, obviously, right? That would be great. But if not, hey, whatever. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.